Don't you hate it when you're rebuilding and you do a micro coil and you have to do an over under but you feel like you're suffocating your coil? You don't have to anymore. I'm not entirely sure if this has been around yet, guys. I've never seen it. Um but yesterday I made myself a nice uh what was it? Six wrap micro coil, 22 gauge cantal. Um the, uh, oh, it was a little bit too low of resistance for me, uh, it was like 0.12, so I remade it today, micro coil, this time I did a 10 wrap, so a 6 wrap, it's like a 0 0.19, 0 0.16, something like that, but yesterday I took it and I was doing, alright, you know, I'm gonna do over and under, you know, just wrap the coil in cotton, but when fired, I'm like, I'm just suffocating it, you know, and these coils heated up pretty well, well, I'm, like I said, I'm not sure if this is already out there, so if it is, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to really claim it as mine if, you know, if someone else already has done it, obviously. But, I call this the slit, uh, or the cotton slitting technique. So basically what you're going to do. Same thing you do with any over under build, you know. Let me see, where's my scissors? Right here. You're gonna take it, I'm just gonna cut it about right there because I like to have it go over and around so I can tuck it back underneath there. So basically, what you're gonna do now that you got here is you're gonna take this, stuff that back underneath there, okay, and then. Take this, I probably have too much here. Wrap it back around the coil. Tuck part of it under. And then the rest to the side. And then under to the side. Under to the side so you get it coiled pretty decently covered. Now this is quite a bit of cotton for it, but these do tend to get pretty hot. So I want there to be a lot of area sorry I'm just cleaning up the outside here um, for you to drip your liquid onto so you'll get something that looks like that okay guys and now very carefully and this is where the term slit cotton technique got to very carefully take some wire snips preferably very sharp and that come to a nice point like these do you're going to very, very, very carefully set it over top where the coil is. Figure out where that coil is. Go just above it. Slit that cotton open. It's going to take a few times to do it and get it good. Uh, a good, nice slit cut through there. Worked a lot better yesterday, but there we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some tweezers. I'm going to take it right here where my little slit has been made. I'm going to carefully and slowly pull cotton down and pull cotton up. Pull 
cotton down, pull cotton up until you make that coil visible and then you keep tucking underneath and you only want basically the top of this coil to be visible i like to make mine full visible um this way you're not completely this way because otherwise i feel like you're suffocating it but basically you still have cotton all the way hold on let me finish poking this in All right, you still have cotton all the way around it, and it's still an over-under wrap. You just do a slit across the top and pry it open. And then that's basically it, guys. Uh, and then you just do, it, obviously, the same thing to your other coil on the other side, and that's it. Yet again, I don't know if this is, already has a name, if someone else already has done this or claimed this as theirs. If so, let me know, guys, because I'd... I would prefer not to take someone else's, you know, idea and call it my own, even though I came up with it on my own. I didn't find it online. So, I mean, it was my idea, but someone else might have had the idea first. It is a pretty basic concept. But anyway, guys, that's it. So let me know what you guys think and let me know if this helped you out. I, I've noticed it produces quite a, it helps you produce quite a bit of vapor. It doesn't suffocate your coils at all. Um, it works pretty well. So let me know how you guys like it. Peace. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the